Hello, this is Vern, and on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you seven clear signs that the guy you're into is relationship ready. Stick with me. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to your great life to be.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart centered, and successful women how you can create the relationship of your dreams as a direct result of stepping into the most alive and feminine version of you without the need for gimmicks or manipulation of any kind. Now, if you've ever been in a situation where you're really into a guy and you feel played, or you feel like you wasted your time, or you feel like you're unsure what the next step is, or the relationship isn't flowing the way that you feel it should to create something sustainable long term, for example, uh, marriage or lifelong partnership with someone. Typically it is because the guy that you're connecting with is being ambivalent about what he really wants, or maybe he's not being ambivalent about what he wants, but it's not showing up really in actions. So what I want to share with you right now is seven clear signs that put together will let you know that the guy that you're into wants to go the distance. And when I say relationship ready, I don't mean like a short-term relationship ready, I mean like a long-term committed marriage, okay? Number one is that he has a proactive attitude in life. Why? It's unlikely that the guy is waiting for shit to happen, let's say, and he's going to be very forward and driving the relationship and being proactive with you. That's a stance you have in life. You're either on the defense or on the offense. And on the offense, it means that you want something and you know how to go get it. You have a problem and you're focused on solutions. You have a vision for what you want in life and you're willing to pay the arduous and difficult and challenging price, including sacrifice, to do what you have to do to create it and manifest it. So if you connect with a guy who has that mindset and that attitude and that embodiment of work, that's one step in the right direction that can tell you that if he places his focus on a relationship, he can make it work. Now, it's not a clear sign that he can do it, but at least he stands in the vicinity of the planet that you want to arrive in. Number two is he has no problem initiating. He's not waiting on you to take action. He doesn't wait for you to call him to say, well, now we don't see each other because he didn't call me. Like he's proactive, not just in life, but he, he's initiating. He is pursuing you. He's letting you know what he feels about you. He's letting you know that he wants to spend more time with you. He is making plans in advance. It's not just, sometimes it's a spontaneous thing, which is great. We all like spontaneity, but you see that the guy is fit, thoughtful and respectful of your time and thinking about it in terms of a vision ahead. It's not just like an afterthought. He has a clear space for a relationship in his life and because he's evaluating a relationship with you, he's making time to let you know in advance that he wants to do things and he's taking that proactive uh, embodiment. Okay. And number three is he has the ability to ask you what you're looking for. Why? Because if he wants something long term, and that long-term thing that he's looking for is not just uh, 20 years from now, but he, he, he doesn't have time to waste, then he's going to be more keen in asking you what you want because he wants to find out if it's a waste of his time to connect with you, if you're unclear about what you want or if you want something different from what he wants. Now, not every guy will ask you what you're looking for. Sometimes guys will wait for you to ask them first what they're looking for and then will tell you. But I'm telling you extra brownie points if the guy takes the initiative of, I know what I want, and I'm asking you to make sure that we're not wasting each other's time. I think that's a benefit. I think that's an add-on. That's something that's beneficial for you if he has that vision and that ability to be that clear. Number four is clearly um, articulates what he wants for his future. So yes, he can ask you what you want, but when you ask him what do you want, he's able to tell you. It's not just like, oh my God, you caught me with my pants down. What kind of question are you asking? Uh, you're talking, you're asking me about marriage. Oh my God, you're pressuring me. Like that's because you're not asking him if he wants to marry you. You're asking him if he's interested in marriage one day in his life. So a guy who shies away from answering those questions, who hasn't, let's say, at a specific age, man, you're talking to a 20 year old, of course, he's not going to be thinking about marriage, but you're talking a 40 year old, 50 year old, 60 year old for Christ's sake, and he hasn't given any thought 
to what he wants regarding marriage or no marriage, what he wants regarding family or no family, what he wants regarding what he, where he wants to see himself in the world a year, three years, five years from now, what he's here for, what he loves and what he hates, if, if he's unable to articulate that, then to have the illusion that he's thought about it or that he can actually manifest that or bring it into your world is a freaking fantasy of the, of the highest kind. So not only will he be willing to answer, I mean, ask for what he's looking for, what you're looking for, but will be able to share clearly what are the things he's interested in and what are the things he's excited about and what's the vision that he has for what a relationship would be with someone. Doesn't mean with you, but with someone. If he can't give you that abstract thought, you're uh, on the realm of wasting your time at best. Uh, number five, he is transparent and direct with you. What does that mean? That if you feel something, he communicates it. That if he has a certain need, that he shares it with you. That if you said something that offended him or that he didn't appreciate, he is not going to just sit and dwell on it. He's going to be able to share it with you. That if he has a specific thing that he wants, he'll be able to share it in a way that seems clear and the opposite of shady, right? He's sharing what he wants and what he needs directly with you. And he may not get everything he wants, right? Because both of you are going to have to negotiate things. But at least he's coming from a place of being willing to put himself on the line and ask for what he needs. Number six. This is very crucial because a lot of guys uh, don't do this one. And this is a telltale sign that the guy is basically wasting your time. He's willing to invest time to develop trust. He doesn't come at the relationship or at the potential of connecting with you or at the potential of having sex with you or the potential of being intimate with you or anything from a place of entitlement. If he's coming to you demanding that you are at a certain stage where he hasn't taken the time to get to know you, to show you in actions that he cares, to ask you out a few times, to understand what you want, to express what he needs, and he wants to go all the way, meaning have sex, and he's not willing to like, hold back when you share your boundary, he's not willing to like, stand back. If he wants to have it his way or the highway, then he is not willing to invest time and energy to develop trust. And without developing trust, you're not going to be able to feel safe to open and go deeper because it's a vulnerable thing that can get you, if nothing else, pregnant, right? But brokenhearted and devastated emotionally at the deepest level if there's a strong level of attraction and then he decides from one day to the next that he doesn't want you. Something bad can happen. So because of that, the guy that you connect with has to be willing to pace himself, has to be willing to put his own needs, sexual, emotional needs, on the back burner on the sense that he's willing to take it one step at a time versus having to go all in all at once zero to 60 miles an hour in 2.3 seconds number seven he doesn't play games but not only does he not play games he doesn't stand i mean he doesn't allow you to play games either because if he's a guy who's as i said transparent and honest and he's not basically upset and basically gives you the i don't know the ice treatment and doesn't respond to your text messages so that you suffer that's playing games he's not waiting for you to do certain things for him to share what he's thinking he's just being transparent honest showing up in a great way and he values himself and he has a high self esteem if you're playing games with him if you're if you're playing hot and cold if you are maybe if you need to share something with him but are acting uh, I don't know, maybe passive aggressive or something, he will not stand up for that. He will tell you to your face, end this, I'm not interested in this type of stuff. Why? Because that, that will let you know that he has strong boundaries. He's willing to say no to you, not just say yes to you for everything. Okay? Hope this are clear and helpful to you. And if you find that they are, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like or thumbs up on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel and click the little bell if you want to be notified of new episodes when they come out. Most important of all, if you like this content and you want to go deeper and you want to understand what does it really take to step into the most amazing relationship of your life with less pain and on a faster trajectory, then on the first link on the description of this video, you will find uh, just that link. Click on it. Uh, it will take you to a page where you can enter your name and email. And once you do, it's going to immediately start playing this masterclass that's free that I created for you. If you want to go deeper and you want my hand holding and help and accountability to help you get what you want, again, even much faster than through the masterclass, then second link on the description of this video will allow you to apply to work with me. Thank you so much for connecting with me. And as always, 
always I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.